The South Island, man. Let's do it. Everything you just saw in that edit, I shot completely on this camera and edited on my iPhone. So today in this video, as the title says, this is GoPro video editing on iPhone or Android. Dan, did you piss? What? Tastes a little weird. I've made a couple of these videos in the past and I asked you guys on Instagram, you know, what would you like to see? And most of you guys responded with tutorials. It was actually quite a unanimous response. Tutorials, 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 tutorials. Now today in this video, I wanna thank KineMaster because this is a sponsored video, but I truly believe this is one of the best video editing applications for your smartphone. I haven't come across too many applications that I've felt really confident and comfortable editing on mobile. I tend to use, as a video editor, I tend to use my desktop, but for something like this, turning around content straight from your GoPro, this is a really, really cool application. So let's jump into it. First thing that I would do is I would choose the clips from my GoPro just straight through the GoPro application and I would save them to my mobile. For those of you that don't know how to do that, check this video up here. That will run you through how you can do that. You can just link to that one. Once you've got all the clips from your adventure on your phone, you're gonna open KineMaster. So if you haven't already, download KineMaster from the Apple or Google Play Store and have it on your mobile. This is what the application will look like. Now, you'll see in, you know, in the layout of it, you have this ability to click on that big red circle which says plus, which means create a new, a new, uh, a new edit. Then what we're gonna do is gonna select the aspect ratio. Now I filmed all of my clips in 16.9, so I'm gonna edit my clips in 16.9, but if you filmed like all your clips, you know, vertically on your iPhone and you wanna do like a Instagram TV edit, even though you can now publish landscape videos, which then will turn around in IGTV, but however you wanna skin that cat, choose your aspect ratio is what I'm trying to say. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in all of our clips, part one, into our timeline. So I'm just gonna go into my GoPro folder. I've got a uh, GoPro folder here, GoPro album. And I'm gonna find, I'm only gonna find like one or two clips. Like there's one. Okay, let's just say I find these two, all right? Now the reason why I've selected those two is just because, um, they're just because of this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you. They're both in uh, 16 by nine. Part one of my process is to go through and find a bunch of clips that I really like. Very easy to do that. Let's have a look through here. This is where we were kayaking at Milford Sound. I want this bit of Jamie throwing up the shakas there. I like that I can just slide my finger along the playhead to quite accurately pick a position. So let's say here, that's where I want the playhead starting right there. Um, then what I'm gonna do like is tap on it and I'm gonna split the clip. And now I'm gonna choose to split at the playhead uh, like over trimming from the left and the right. I'm gonna go to the end of it where I want it, which is like, after he's put his shuckers down just there and I'm gonna also split at the playhead. Now the reason why I, I create two splits as opposed to clearing the left and the right is I might wanna find another part of this clip that I like. So I'm gonna keep scrubbing through. There's a cool shot there of like, um, I don't know, there's just like an interesting shot there where he kind of moves out. Let's split that at the playhead and keep that to where, let's just say we like that bit. And then we might scrub across um, again, we'll scrub back at the start and there might be something interesting here that I also like. There's a POV shot here. What I'm gonna do is I'm again, click on it, split, split at the playhead, scroll across to the bit that I like, split at the playhead. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and just delete the bits that I don't want. I don't want that bit, delete. Um, I want that bit. I don't want that end bit, delete. And same with like this clip. We just wanna play it. Bottom left there, that's a really nice uh, hyperlapse. Now, to rearrange the clips, like let's just say I want it to go from like Jamie here to like hyperlapse. I'm gonna take a little bit of this hyperlapse, just like, let's just say here, split, and then go to like there, split. I'm gonna take that bit, click and hold on the bit that you want, and then just drop it where you want it. So I'm, I'm just gonna drop it in over here. Cool. So now you can see it goes from, Hyperlapse, 
like that. And so that's how I arrange my clips. I go through each GoPro clip, let's say I've shot 10 of them, and I cut them up and I find like one or two seconds that I like and I start to build out a timeline. Let's look at that timeline. <laughs> Once you've gone through a bunch of your GoPro clips and you've, you know, rearranged them in an order that you like, you know, just cut them up in a whole different entourage. Let's have a look. Let's do it. <laughs> now with this, I'm sort of storytelling from kind of left to right. I'm just going like, this was actually the start of the trip, you know, getting to the South Island, flying on a plane from um, Christchurch to Queenstown. And then, you know, this is us exploring Queenstown. We had, a th we had three different like big key moments and I've just kind of spliced them up and found like the best bits that I like um, of those three days. For those of you that have watched any of my other tutorials, I always say to start with music. I've got links to Epidemic Sound and Music Bed in the description of this. So if you're trying to find some music, feel free to use those affiliate links. It will give me a kickback, but um, it will help you find better music. Uh, so I found this track, which I really, really liked. And quite simply, all I had to do was airdrop it from my MacBook straight over to my iPhone. I know not everyone has you know, an iPhone and they don't have the airdrop service, but just send it straight to your phone. And with KineMaster, you can airdrop it and save it straight to KineMaster. Let's go into audio. And then we're gonna find um, in, in, in these folders, I've got a folder there called internal. That's the song that I liked. It's called Epidemic Sound, The Break, Phasian. Excellent, we're gonna plus it, add it in. There it is. So there's the song, tick. All right. Now, what I like to do when I work with music is I like to find, I don't want to just start from the start of the song because it might not work with my edit. So what I've done with this particular one is I've gone through, I've looked at the waveforms and I've found a repetitive section, which I think is like a nice flowy part to get the edit going. If I look through here, see how these little peaks start to like, you know, they're like repetitive. If I go and listen to them, That's cool, that ooga, ooga. I wanna use that bit at the start of my edit. It's just like a nice way to get the edit going. So essentially, I'm taking all my short little clips and I'm matching them to the ooga, 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 giving people a little bit of an idea of what was going on on this adventure. So let's go to the playhead there. Let's click on the uh, track and let's split it. We're gonna use the scissors and we will split at the playhead. Now, I don't want to use this second, the start of the edit. I don't need that, so I'm just gonna delete that out. I'm gonna click and hold and then I'm gonna drag the music all the way to the start of my, my edit. So here, I'm gonna go to like just about there. So I'm gonna have this intro section, which is like, Basically, I'm cutting on those beats, you know? So if your clips are a little longer, a little short, just trim them. All you have to do to trim them, you know, you just click on it and those yellow playheads, just drag them across, trim them till they match, you know, all of those sections. Um, so yeah, so, so far, it's working, it's, it's cool. It's really simple, it's just, tight editing, there's 54 clips in here. So, you know, I've gone through and I've put the work in to find the little bits that I want. Again, do that at the start. It's like when you have a big editing suite, that's how I normally do it. I go through and I lay out all the clips that I think could be cool onto my timeline and I find the bits that I like. The South Island, man, let's do it. <laughs> now, there's a section in here where I get to, I get to here, and it's like a funny moment halfway through. So I start talking here. I wanna be able to hear that talking moment, and you can see that like there's right here, there's like, there's like a distinct beat which it like smacks. I'm gonna cut on that beat right there, I'm gonna click on that, I'm gonna split it, split it playhead. I'm gonna drag this part of the, of the track, click and hold, to just to allow that little vocal section or that little you know narrative speaking part just to play out. So now, if I go and play that bit. 
You'll notice that the track sort of dives down. There's like some kind of phaser or like, you know, there's some kind of like a vo v effect on the track which goes, brings it down. Um, and then it sort of comes back up. I want to be able to hear the Dan. So what I can either do, I've got two ways of doing this. I can do a hard cut on the bit where I talk. So I can be like, I'm about to talk here. Basically, I can just do a hard cut there. Um, split the clip. Split the clip. Split it. And I can just cut that bit. That, that also, that's, you know, it's like a DJ just going, pulling the fader straight down and going, wait up. What's up? What's happening? Um, so, you know, or... I, I can go to the mixer and pull that down, tick, which means straight away that goes. Damn, did you piss? Right, it, it works. Because of this type, type of edit, you can do hard cuts. Um, you know, alternatively, you can fade it out. And to fade it out, if I was to click on that bit, I would go into the volume envelope. Um, I think you would create a keyframe. It's not letting me create the keyframes in the volume envelope. Anyway, so now what's gonna happen with this section, let's delete it, let's just do a hard cut there, delete that bit. Now it sort of gets to this bit, come in here, play it back. Dan, did you piss? Huh? Hey! This is a little weird. <laughs> it's, that is just this style of edit, it works with this style of track, it's just, you know, you cut, it's just like, a DJ doing his thing, he's like playing around with different audio. One other thing that I'll make mention of, you might notice that there's bits in my clips which go slower here, slow-mo. I'll show you how to do that. Click on the clip that you want to slow down, and then all you have to do is go into the speed icon, which is right in the middle there. Super simple. Now, I would choose to mute the audio because you don't want the, all right, I'll show you with it out, but all you have to do is drag that little slider there back to 0.5, which is a quarter, you know, it's half time, it's half the uh, paste. You'll see that it's stretched out, so now this clip's gone. Oh. Very simple, you know, just goes one, two, three. If you don't want the audio, you don't want the audio to be like, Ooh, you can then just click on the, sp the speed icon of the clip and again, mute the audio. So it's gonna go normal audio and then it's just gonna be like slow-mo, back to it. So I've done that with a few of my clips. Um, I've got them slowed down. So that's, it's very simple. You can also do like a speed ramp in again, which I think is super cool. So if I go to this clip at the start, I change the speed of this to um, two times. There we go. I'm going to take the audio off. So now it's going to be real fast into slow mo. Yeah. See that speed ramp in? Show you again. Slows down. Super cool. I've never seen an application that can do speed and play around with it this like accurately. Um, so you can really, you know, find pick the clips that you want. You can really play around with them and make some tight edits on your mobile. The South Island, man. Let's do it. recommend that you guys download the application play around with it look at some of the creative elements you've also got a whole heap of like visual effects and things which you can add in there um, sometimes that's not my style but I am gonna be playing around with them guys if you have liked this video if it has helped you if it got you thinking about mobile editing punch a thumbs up button share it with someone that's looking for just like a mobile application to edit their you know their GoPro or their travel videos and if you want to see more of this kind of content let me know in the comment section below or turn post notifications on see you guys in the next upload JR Peace! Since I met you, I feel on
unbreakable 